A good craftsman knows how to work with those materials and get the best quality product out of it. And that's what this is. It really is a craft. There's something about a daguerreotype that is unlike any other type of photograph. And in my opinion, probably the most beautiful form of photography I ever invented. It's a shiny little object. It's like a little jewel, you know? It's like a polished jewel with an image, somebody's image on it. And you get this weighty plate got heft to it, it's got a presence, it's like a little person, you know. Two years ago, I raised enough money to take a workshop at the Eastman House in Rochester. It was a great experience, you know. And that just kind of like cinched it up, man. It's like, this is, this is what I want to do. After the workshop, it took me about a year to get all the equipment I needed. I found some equipment. I'd say the majority of it, though, was made by me. It remains elusive to most people because of the chemicals that are involved. It's um, the bromine and the iodine. They're all, they're all super corrosive. The mercury, of course, is a poison. You know? so it's three super dangerous chemicals and um, a lot of work. So it's just a big turnoff. Just to most people, it's just like, what that, you know? Why even bother, you know? It's not uh, worth it. But uh, I think it is. The daguerreotype is basically an um, all-metal photograph. A copper plate with silver uh, plating over it, and it's buffed out and fumed over some chemicals and developed over hot mercury vapor. And uh, then you have an image. And then it's gilded or uh, toned with gold. It feels good just crafting a photograph as opposed to just snapping away and it feels more rewarding at the end. Modern photography is, is a lot of snapshot type photography. A lot of it is just a lot of smiling, posing, you know, like goofing around. Nothing real serious, you know. It's rare to see somebody sat down in, in a calm sort of way and you almost want them to be a little bit vulnerable. The final image tends to be very uh, sort of soulful appearance. And, and it's hard to get a good image. It took like a whole afternoon, probably about six hours, to get those three photographs. And uh, to me, it's, it's worth it to put in all this time. Part of the attraction, I think, for me, is the fact that these images will live on far beyond me. You know, hopefully, kind of uh, carry on without me, I guess. There aren't very many things in this world that will last that long, you know? especially in modern times where things are so disposable and uh, you know, everything is just used and thrown out. So, and in the digital realm, well, it's so so easy to take a picture. It's so easy also to forget about it. And I'm trying to make something that uh, hopefully will be a cherished object from generation to generation.